Spirits. We are outside of Jupiter right here in our hometown. Um, it's probably late, late evening-ish. What is it, 5 o'clock, honey? I think so, yep. Yeah, we're trying to get out to Pompano right before dark here. We got here about 4. Yeah, so we're just trying to, trying to fish for a couple hours, see if we can get on anything. We haven't caught any Pompano in about a, about a month and a half, so I'm jouncing to get some of that at our house so we can get some on the grill. And uh, wish us luck and make sure that you guys like and subscribe. We'll uh, get on some fish. I don't think so. Come on, really. I don't think so. It completely cut off, I think. Oh no, I feel it. I don't feel a fish on though. Must be awfully small. little fish. I can see it though. It's like a grayish color. Looks like it might be a baby pompano. Baby pompano? That's a keeper, baby. Woo! -hoo! Keeper! Yeah. Where's Riley? Right there. Oh my goodness, he's huge! That's a good one. Oh, I'm so happy. Yeah, that's a good one. We haven't had a pompano in probably a month and a half. That's a fat pompano. I don't even know if my camera's Sweet, on, but dude. I was eating my sandwich from the <laughs> connection, and uh, Alicia's over here catching pompano. Yeah, big fat, big fatty. Yeah. Baddies. Look, Luke, big fatty. Mom, fatty. The mommy caught dinner. I am. Mommy caught dinner. All right, we got the pole. Come on. He's a fatty. No, it's you're. Hard. Look, his camera. Your camera's not on. I didn't think so. I told you, when they run, they run. <laughs> Get over there and check the bait. Jeez. See what I have to deal with, guys. <laughs> I'll, I'll check the bait. The bait, has, the bait needs to be checked probably every 15 to 20 minutes. Yep, yep. We've been sitting here probably 10, 15 minutes. Um, as you can see, yep. there's probably about six or seven people up there fishing. Oh, yeah. They've only caught one pompano. They caught one on this rod right here about 15 minutes ago. But, and then, but theirs looks like half the size of ours, so we're hoping to get one more. So at least we'll have one each to eat. Yeah. And uh, that would be happy. So. I thought I seen it. I thought I seen a little bit of a nibble going on a second ago, so I'm keeping my eyes on that one over there. For some reason, that one's getting more action. So. Yep. I seen it moving again. Okay, that, that, there's a fish on there. It's small. Fish on. I don't know if it's anything big, but I don't know. Why now? Or it could be stuck on our other pole. It looks like it's way over here though. No, I think it's slack. It's slack, it was a kingfish. Totally slack. See? Look at this. Look at this, we got completely bit off on one of them. Kingfish. Yep, totally bit off. Yep. Wet, wet. It's okay. We'll do it again. All right, guys. Back in the kitchen. The girls are playing. We've got our pompano. This was a uh, frozen pompano. We had the one that we caught. Um, I went ahead and froze it so because we weren't ready to, to eat it. So we've got all three out. Um, actually, what I'm going to do with this recipe, we're going to do a pan-seared pompano just fillets. And uh, so I'm going to take the fillets off of these guys. And we're doing this white wine tomato basil sauce. Uh, so I'll go ahead and show you the recipe here. Uh, very simple instructions, basically. Put everything in a pan and cook it. <laughs> and then we're doing our uh, pompano, just uh, you know, just regular you know fillets with uh, coated in in uh, some some flour and then sautéed in the pan. So pan seared. Um, so yeah, this is our ingredients. I will post the ingredients list down below. But let me go ahead and get this uh, sauce going, and then we'll move on to the pompano. Okay, so we're gonna start out with two tablespoons of olive oil. 
and we're putting that in a saute pan over medium heat. And then while that's coming up to temp, we're gonna go ahead and chop up our tomatoes. So we wanna just have these and then we'll put them off to the side while our pan is heating up. And now that we're up to temp, I'm gonna put in a large heaping forkful of garlic. It calls for three large garlic cloves. I like my garlic, that looks like three to me. And then a quarter teaspoon of pressed red pepper flakes. And we're gonna let that simmer for about a minute. Now, once that's gotten fragrant, we're gonna go ahead and throw in our chopped tomatoes. And we're gonna cook these down for probably five to 10 minutes. We're looking for those tomatoes to get nice and blistered and soft. So every couple of minutes, we're going to stir these up, give them a little flip. And then once they're soft, they're gonna get thick like this. And you're gonna notice that the pan is a little bit sticky on the bottom. That's what we wanna deglaze with the white wine and lemon juice, which actually I forgot to fill, but it's going in there. All right, so our sauce is done and uh, just basically followed the ingredients on that. Really super simple. I'm just gonna let that sit over there and just kind of, uh, it's on the warming uh, center. So um, just staying warm over there. I've got both of our pans on medium heat right here, about six, so medium to medium high. Uh, we're gonna do asparagus in this one and then the pan sear on the uh, pompano in this one. So we'll go ahead and throw our asparagus on in. I'm just gonna chop the bottom hard parts off of there and throw that right on in. We got some yummy asparagus. Then we'll add a little bit of oil to our other saute pan over here. Just a little bit of oil. And then also we're going to do a little bit of butter in that as well. And I'm going to finish filleting these up. I got two fillets ready to go. So what we're going to do is just go ahead and put our butter in first so it's ready. There you go. And we're just gonna put a little bit of our flour in this pan and just do a really light dredge on our pompano before it goes to get pan seared in our saute pan. So we'll get that nice. Let's put a nice little dredge on our fish. We'll put one side down and then what I'm gonna do is just throw a little bit of salt and pepper on just one side. A little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper, so we're seasoned. There we go. We can be generous on just one side because we're just doing that one side only. So, and we'll do that. Get it nice and dry. Set that right back on there. We'll do the other one. And then with this one, we will go ahead and just go right into our pan. So we're gonna go right into our pan. And then same thing with this other one. And we're looking for just a nice light golden brown on that fish. Now, like I said, this pompano was frozen. So this is a bit of an experiment to find out these ones sure fillet nice. That first one I had a little bit of an issue. It's tough to fillet a fish without the head. I had no idea. But anyway, that one's done. We'll just cut that little bit of belly out. There we go. But we're gonna find out, I mean, these still look good. They smell great. So we're gonna find out if freezing has changed the flavor on these. All right, so looks like our golden edges along the edge of the fish here. So looks like it's just about time to flip these. Let's separate these guys because they're stuck right there. There we go. So we'll flip this guy on over. We want a nice golden brown on here. And that is perfect. Same thing on this one. That was a nice, nice big chunky fat filet. Those look good. We'll give our asparagus a little bit of a stir here. That's blistering up nicely.
and we're going to add some garlic into this and then that's pretty much it that's all we do to our asparagus really super simple all right so this pompano is looking done to me very much so very good all right so we're going to take that on out two nice fillets there our asparagus looks delicious so what we're going to do is add in the garlic just basically at the last second and garlic salt hit it with some garlic salt and some real garlic and that is all you need mix that up once that garlic gets fragrant it starts turning that toasty brown you want to go ahead and pull it off so just put some on there for me some on there for Alicia and the girls are gonna have some fish but they're not real big fans of asparagus we love it we love asparagus now for the finishing touch the sauce so the sauce smells so good I can't wait to try it we're gonna put that right over the top of our pompano Now the only thing I forgot, this is supposed to have basil in it, fresh basil, and I forgot the fresh basil at the store. So, oh well. But, there we have it. We have fresh pan seared pompano with asparagus and a seared tomato, not basil, garlic, white wine sauce. <laughs> I'm always into trying new sauces, so. Speaking of trying, let's try. I'm eager to give this a shot. This pompano looks really, really, really good. So, we'll get some tomato on there. Mmm. Wow. Guys, that's fantastic. Tastes a lot of lemon. And definitely taste the wine. That's really good. Pompano came out perfect. Mm. That sauce is really good, guys. You'll have to give that a try. I will post the recipe down below. Please, if you guys like these cooking videos, I know sometimes they can go a bit a little bit long. Tell me what you think. Are they are they too long for you? Should we shorten them up? You know, we're always uh, you know trying to figure out what's best uh, you know for for you guys uh, for the viewers. So you know that's what we're into. We're into uh, you know making sure you guys are happy with watching us. And if you are, please hit that like button. That like button helps us out a lot. It, it gets more viewers to the channel. It tells YouTube that you know our video doesn't suck, and uh, you know maybe we should show it to other people. So <laughs> we really appreciate when you guys hit that like button. It means a ton to us. And if you want to see more videos from us, go ahead and hit that subscribe. But on that note, I am going to eat, speaking of which, some asparagus. And you guys have a great night. I know I am going to enjoy mine. See you next one.